All right, so here's a quote from James Gunn. There's a lot of James Gunn stuff we're going to go over later this week, but these are a couple one of the ones that I wanted to talk about today. It's about the Green Lantern show. And there's a lot of people trying to sort of, I don't know, lack of a better word, like shill for this stuff, because I'm still a little bit concerned. And he goes, it's a very grounded, grounded, <laughs> Green Lanterns, grounded, it's a very grounded and real series, which is strange to say for a Green Lantern show, but it's going to be something nobody's ever seen. Thoughts but, on well, this? Um, I don't know. Like, I think and it's, also, it's also like, because like what's grounded to James Gunn? Like, what does he mean by grounded? Because people say grounded for like, grounded just means realistic or grounded means like realistic in the sense of like people don't... Um, like what do you call it? They don't. Oh, there's no like powers and stuff like that. But it's a fucking army dude, like space. Okay, op- right, right. So it can't be grounded like no powers because that would be a complete 100 DOA series. If if they're not if they're not going to use the rings at all, like one of the worst things. Paige, you imagine this. One of the worst things. I'm going to get mad about something that we don't even know about. So get ready for this. Is what if they arrive? And for some reason, their rings don't work for the entirety of the season. They have the mystery is Eric, to find out how to don't, recharge their rings. Don't don't speak that into existence because that would be awful. The only thing Imagine I can think if that's of, the mystery. The mystery is we need to find our lantern to recharge our rings. It's like oh, my phone's out of battery. I need to find a PowerPoint. Like that's. If that, yeah, I, like, let's pray to the. The Lord Bebo, that that does not happen. That would be so I, bad. The only thing I can think of is when he says grounded, because if he's saying grounded like an actual like like classic term, then question mark alert for this show. I'm hoping he means it's like emotionally grounded, where it's like the ca- the characters almost act in a very real way in regards to situations. They're not just like you know they act in like a real world sense. If that makes mm. you know if you know what I mean. So yeah, like, that's what I'm sort of hoping there, but. I'm even before that quote, I was sort of worried about this show where it sounds like it's going to be like because people don't understand why the 2011, 2011, 2010, whatever it was, Green Lantern movie mm. didn't work as a whole for the Ryan Reynolds thing. And people go, oh, it was just shit. That movie's just mid. The biggest issue with it, if you look at it from a Green Lantern fan sense, is that there's so much law and they just waste time. They, like, yes. they rush through the law and they don't explore the law. And you don't understand what the Green Lantern core is and how things work and the responsibilities around that. I'm worried that this show is going to do the exact same thing. And people are just and but I'm also expecting people to overlook it because it'll have like some HBO visuals or something like that. Like, oh, they did mm. this panning shot or something. So this is the one thing, this is the most the show I was most looking forward to when it was first announced. It also like, seems like in most of the online polls, it is the one that most people, or, or not just the show, but the Green Lantern stuff seems to be the, the stuff that people are mostly interested in. But to be fair, there's not much like that's, like for like a, like a, like just from like a, the like just from like a first impression that stands out, like the Superman and his lands and then the rest is like, okay, we'll wait and see what that's like. Like no one's in the guy, can't wait for the authority. Like you just have to wait and see what the authority authorities like same with creature commandos even supergirl to an extent you just have to wait and see i just i'm worried that we're not going to see we're not going to see a lot of powers we're going to see a lot of excuses for no powers and that feels for lack of better and and i hate using it this way because i feel like it's sort of taking a dig at cw but it feels very young adult tv show um to have these characters and then not use them to their full capabilities and that's what i'm concerned about because you think green lantern green lantern is probably the most sci-fi slash soap opera stuff that dc comics does and to introduce them as a grounded detective series is confusing it sets them up so that james gunn has to constantly explain this thing it also makes people sort of turn their heads a little bit because if you would have just came out and said oh it's going to be a detective story in space i think people would have been immediately on board for that but saying it's a detective story grounded on earth with two lanterns and hal is an old man immediately you 
you're not going to win over a lot of the diehard fans that way. And it's going to be tough. It's an uphill battle, I think. Yeah, like from the outside looking in, I have a feeling this show is just going to be a way to develop Jon Stewart as a character in some way, shape or form. But And then just set up some like mystery within there. But it doesn't feel like it's going to be like a Green Lantern show. Yeah. If that makes sense, if you know what no, I mean. No, it makes but sense once again, me, yeah. it was the show I was most looking forward to when it was first announced. It's still probably up there just because I'm, I am I just want to see how they do that because it has been like nothing focused Green Lantern stuff for ages. So I, and, and then Gunn also said like the main sort of mystery or I guess how the mystery ends in this movie bleeds into the rest of the DCE, uh, the DCU, you might have say. Yeah. So it's still up there. It's still my number one. But I can't help but say I'm a bit I'm sort of disappointed with probably how it's transpiring and how it looks like it's going to go. Um, but I, I still want to see what the finished product is like. Because the thing is, is that Gunn can say all this stuff and, and maybe he's trying to downplay it. And then we get it and it is like what you'd expect from a Greenland show. But at least for the moment, it sounds like it's, it's missing the mark by a, a bit. But... I don't want to like completely trash it because I want to see what it's like when it comes out. I don't either, but I get, I'm concerned about what everything that's being said doesn't instill any faith in me in terms of like what this is going to be. So I get a little nervous because they're not, he's not saying anything yet that is helping me connect with what, what the show is going to be. Everything he's saying is pulling me out of it. And that's not what I want to hear. And I'm not saying that it's going to be bad. It could, it could end up being amazing. But I'm I'm just concerned because all of the stuff that I associate uh, with Green Lantern in the comics, none of that is present in anything they've said about the story other than the two characters. That's it. Like, we're not talking about anything that resonates with any classic Lantern stories. They don't have to do the big ones, but we're not seeing any connection with, like, if you want to do an Earthbound story with Green Arrow... And Green Lantern, I would have probably been on board with that because we saw in the comics that works well. There are a lot of things they could have done and they chose to do something that just from an advertising standpoint doesn't make a lot of sense. It just doesn't make a lot of sense. Uh, maybe putting Lanterns in a TV show isn't a good idea for their first outing. Well, no, I think it's the opposite. I think Green Lantern is the perfect medium for it because there's so much lore to it. Not if and they're going to do it saw- this way, though. That's what I mean. Like, well, that's, that's, that's what, that, and I agree with that. If they're going to just sort of like almost like step away or like be in a different realm from the law, then like, what's the point? But like, I saw some, who was it? Like, Malcor said, it's an established world, so there's no need to explain much. I'm sorry, when 90% of the people that are watching, 95 don't understand what the law is, then yeah, you have to explain it. Like, that's what it's saying, like, with like, like 1999 Batman, when Michael Keaton was Batman, it was like, oh, he's in an established world, but you just don't explain that he's Bruce Wayne and explain like why he became Batman. You have to explain that shit. I mean, the reality is that we see a lot of shows that take place on other planets and those other planets don't look that different from earth. They might be like an unusual like, this is, location. Or like, this like shit that. isn't Spider-Man where there's been all these different Spider-Man interpretations or modern day Batman. Right. where You don't have to show Bruce Wayne being, you know, a witness to his parents murders and stuff like right. that or superman you don't have to show kal-el coming to krypton and him growing up you don't everyone most people have seen that the people are going to go see the movie you've probably already seen that um or there's that option to go watch those things it hasn't been explored in green lane because the 20 what 10 or 11 movie didn't do that right and that was one of its biggest faults is that it didn't really explore too much of that lore and everything like that this show i think needs to do that especially if you're going to explore the lands in a further capacity and, and maybe that's what he's cooking up but like i'm hoping you i'm hoping yeah i'm hoping there's but you even if it's just, even if it just like the, the show doesn't start with it mm-hmm. and then there's specifically an episode where they dive 100 percent deeper into the lore of it all whether it is like 10 years ago this is what how jordan was doing and it explores that I'd love to see that. And it's a very HBO thing to do as well. Like you said, a lot with HBO, where they'll just have an episode where it's completely set in the past, whether it's six months earlier or 20 years earlier or whatever it is. I, I almost honestly expect that. But at the same time, it's not confirmed that that's going to happen as well. Right. And that's where the concern comes from. And I, like I'll state until this show comes out or until we get a trailer, the Greg Belanti show seemed way more interesting just because it felt like Green Lane. It sounded like a Green Lane mm. show. This sounds like, and I know that they pretty much said it, True Detective with a Green Lantern like DLC on top. 
That just doesn't interest me though. That's the problem. I, that doesn't interest me. To me, that sounds well, I, so boring as a Green Lantern show. I I think it's um, unless it was true detective in space. Well, yeah, like, like that like would have sold me. If true detective where we travel from planet to planet working out a mystery in space, that would have been exciting to me. Making it a Midwestern well, Earth think it's series sounds so boring. Yeah, like I'm worried about it being like completely set on Earth. I think the bigger thing would be if the and I'm hoping this is the case because I'm hoping it's maybe related to the Manhunters. If they're not the villain, then I think they might have missed the mark because it's the only way where I think you can set it on Earth, but still mm. connect it deeply into Green Lantern lore and space and explore that area in some way, even if it's just for one episode where they're deep into whether it's on Oa or whatever it is. It's the only storyline. So if the villain is not, or the villains aren't associated around the Manhunters, then maybe they've gone down the wrong path but it's a wait and see yeah we'll have to wait and see how it goes